Hey guys, Oranez Ndigbo has reacted to the federal government's move uh, to extradite Simon Ekpa as defense headquarters review fresh moves against uh, Biafra in Nigeria. According to Oranez Ndigbo, they said the federal government should stop the issue of extradition of Simon Ekpa now because it will escalate things for them in the Southeast. They have advised President Bola Metunubu government to first of all release Mazen Namdi Kano, dialogue with Biafra agitators, then Simon Ekpa activities will fade away. This is what Oranese is telling Nigerian government that Simon Ekpa not be the matter now. The problem on ground, uh, that is what Simon Ekpa is using now to act, which is Nam the Kano in the DSS custody. According to Organizing Digbo, they said if the federal government of Nigeria released Mazin Nam the Kano, Simon Ekpa activities in the southeast will fade out. And then dialogue with agitators. I think these people are saying the truth. When you look at what is happening now in the southeast, it was after the government of Nigeria, you know, extraordinary renditions, na, rendition in Nam Kano to Nigeria. That is where all these problems, you know, um, uh, took over the Southeast, engulfed the Southeast. You understand? Even the people, when they fight for his release, and those ones won't just be criminal on their own, they are now using Mazen Nam Kano as a shade. And this is what they've been telling the government of Nigeria, but they are not thinking that direction. You understand? There is a problem already on ground. If you can't still go carry this man now, come back again, you go double wala for them. That is what organizing Digbo is trying to say. Good and fine, though, if you want to extradite uh, Simon Ekpa uh, to face trial, according to the Nigerian government, first of all, release Mazin Nam the Kano, make we know the one when we talk first. You understand? Release this man, dialogue with agitators, peace will restore to the southeast region you get. But the way they are doing the whole thing, it just gets us a B. So the matter when they grant now be say the federal government has said it will take action against Simon Ekpa, the leader of the Biafra government in Eza Bridge who recently announced plans to declare the Biafra Republic on December 2nd, 2024. Major General Edward Buba, the Director of Defense Media Operations, reviewed that the government would respond appropriately through diplomatic channels, including the European Union, to, execute, uh, to extradite Simon Ekpa from Finland. The federal government would respond appropriately to the Finnish government through the, U the European Union on the part of the military. Troops would sustain operations against IPOP and the ESA. Okay, General Buba stated that. Ekpa, uh, who claims to be the Prime Minister of Bridge, announced on his social media handle that the Biafra government would unveil the map of the 40 United States of Biafra and issue a declaration on December 2nd, 2024. So as you can see, they are now saying that Simon Ekpa is really going far. They never thought Simon Ekpa would take this action right now to the extent of, you know, uh, unveiling Biafra map, not to talk of declaring the Biafra, uh, the Biafra, on the second, uh, the, on the second of uh, December. So for you to know that he has gone far. So they are now saying Simon Ekpa as a nightmare to them. But what Organizer is trying to say is that good and fine. We know Simon Ekpa have his own issue. You know, in one side the attacks he has claim that he is the one which is treating them and all that. But they are saying if you can look at this in our own. A view. Simon Ekpa activities will gradually die down if Nam De Kano is released. Also remember that Nam De Kano have said that, release me first. 
all this insecurity here and there. Two minutes, it don't finish. But I understand the fact that some governments, some politicians are using this, you know, to enrich themselves. So they are even working against my freedom. Now they kind of say that when they appear in court, you, you understand. So why is the government not looking at these things this way? Because I'm beginning to see the truth, what the organization is saying. If Nancy extradits this one come, we are already having problems. Maybe another one, another person will still rise again. In the name of I'm trying, you must release Namdi Kano and Simon Ekba, and that will be a very big problem to them in the Southeast. So Oranese is telling the Nigerian government, no, this is your plan right now. You just have to hold it. Releasing Namdi Kano first. You understand? Address the issues of agitations. Simon Ekba activities will fade out. That is what Oranese is telling the Nigerian government. We can't keep on making mistakes upon mistakes. The way the government, you know, took the issue of agitations in the Southeast, that was what is giving birth to all these problems. You can't keep on going this way. You have to, you know, do something about this. So that is what uh, Oanese is currently telling the Nigerian government. But we will see how they, will, they themselves will react to this. But remember that Buba, uh, Edward Buba had said that they are approaching or they have already approached the European Union to extradite Simon Ekpa back to Nigeria. So how you see him? Do you think extraditing Simon Ekpa back to Nigeria to face trial now when Namdi Kano is still in detention? Do you think that we seek the problems, the insecurity in the Southeast? Or do you think if Mazi, uh, Mazi Simon Ekpa is extradited back to Nigeria, everything will die down and Biafra struggle with that? And how do you think? What do you think I meant to say? Please make me hear from you. What's your thoughts on this one? Let's just share your thoughts, please, below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video. Share, 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 share. Let Nigerians understand what is currently happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you and bye for now.